This week, I'll be living the middle-class life of a sales manager at one of Britain's new car companies. The average working man either walked to work or took public transport. Barely 10% of households owned a motor car in the early 50s. The vast majority of cars produced in the UK were exported to pay for Britain's $1 billion wartime debt. I'm doing my bit for Britain's export market, working at Bristol Cars. I've been slowly creeping up the corporate ladder since the company was founded in 1946, concentrating my efforts on motivating the workforce. Unfortunately, they just want to drink tea. But there isn't any roar when the clock strikes four, everything stops for tea. Tea breaks were common to all British industry in the 1950s, when workers downed tools daily, both morning and afternoon, for 15 minutes. In the eyes of many managers, this disruption affected productivity, and I'm certainly not going to tolerate it. After calling a lengthy board meeting to discuss this age-old problem, I come up with a radical plan. In fact, any attempt to ban tea breaks in the 50s led to all-out tea strikes, usually until the management caved in. Well, I think I handled that rather well. I wonder what Sue's up to.